Brought to you by wikivd.com Goldie Horn. Goldie Jean Horn is an American actress, director, producer and occasional singer. She rose to fame on the NBC sketch comedy program Rowan to receive the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress and the Golden Globe Award for Best Supporting Actress for her performance in Cactus Flower. Horn maintained bankable star status for more than three decades while appearing in films such as There's a Girl in My Soup. Butterflies are free. The Sugarland Express shampoo foul play seems like old times. And Private Benjamin, for which she was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Actress, for playing the title role. Horn's later work includes starring roles in the films Overboard, Bird on a Wire, Death Becomes Her House, It the First Wives Club, and The Banger Sisters. After a 15-year hiatus from film acting, Horn made her comeback in Snatched. She is the mother of actors Oliver Hudson, Kate Hudson and Wyatt Russell, and has been in a relationship with actor Kurt Russell since 1983. In 2003, she founded the Horn Foundation which helps underprivileged children. Early Life Horn was born in Washington, D.C., the daughter of Laura, a jewelry shop, dance school owner, and Edward Rutledge Horn, a band musician who played at major events in Washington. She was named after her mother's aunt. Her father was a Presbyterian of German and English descent. Her mother was Jewish, the daughter of emigrants from Hungary. Horn was raised Jewish. She was raised in Tacoma Park, Maryland, a suburb of Washington, D.C. Horn began taking ballet and tap dance lessons at the age of three, and danced in the corps de ballet of the Ballet Russe de Monte Carlo production of The Nutcracker. In 1955, she made her stage debut in 1964, playing Juliet in a Virginia Shakespeare Festival production of Romeo and Juliet. By 1964 she ran and taught in a ballet school having dropped out of American University, where she was majoring in drama. In 1964, Horn made her professional dancing debut in a production of Can Can. At the Texas Pavilion of the New York World's Fair, she began working as a professional dancer a year later and appeared as a go-go dancer in New York City and at the Peppermint Box in New Jersey. 1960s Horn moved to California to dance in a show at a theater across from Disneyland. Horn began her acting career as a cast member of the short-lived CBS situation comedy Good Morning World during the 1967-68 television season her role being that of the girlfriend of a radio disc jockey with a stereotypical dumb blonde personality. Her next role, which brought her to international attention, was as one of the regular cast members on the 1968-1973 sketch comedy show, Rowan. She would often break out into high-pitched giggles in the middle of a joke and deliver a polished performance a moment after noted equally for her chipper attitude as for her bikini and painted body horn was seen as something of a 1960s it girl her laugh in persona was parlayed into three popular film appearances in the late 1960s and early 1970s cactus flower there's a girl in my soup and butterflies are free Horn had made her feature film debut in a bit role as a giggling dancer in the 1968 film The One, and only genuine original family band in which she was billed as Goldie John. But in her first major film role in Cactus Flower she won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress as Walter Matthaus' suicidal fiancé. 1970s after Horn's Academy Award win her film career took off, she starred in a string of above-average and successful comedies starting with There's a Girl in My Soup Dollar and Butterflies Are Free. She continued proving herself in the dramatic league with the 1974 satirical dramas The Girl 
from Petrovka and the Sugarland Express and Shampoo in 1975. She also hosted two television specials, Pure Goldie in 1971 and the Goldie Horn special in 1978. The latter was a sort of comeback for Horn, who had been out of the spotlight for two years. Since the 1976 release of The Duchess and the Dirt Water Fox while she was focusing on her marriage and the birth of her son, on the special she performed show tunes and comedy bits alongside comic legend George Burns, teen matinee idol Sean Cassidy, television star John Ritter and even the Harlem Globetrotters joined her for a montage. The special later went on to be nominated for a Primetime Emmy. Four months later the film Foul Play was released and became a box office smash. Reviving Horn's film career, the plot centered around an innocent woman in San Francisco who becomes mixed up in an assassination plot. Horn's next film, Mario Monacellus Lovers and Liars, was a box office bomb. In 1972, Horn recorded and released a solo country LP for Warner Brothers titled Goldie. It was recorded with the help of Dolly Parton and Buck Owens. All Music gives the album a favorable review calling it a sweetly endearing country-tinged middle-of-the-road pop record. 1980s Horn's popularity continued into the 1980s starting with another primetime variety special alongside actress and singer Liza Minnelli Goldie and Liza Together which was nominated for four Emmy Awards. In the same year, Horn took the lead role in Private Benjamin, a comedy she co-produced with her friend Nancy Myers, who co-wrote the script. Myers recalls Horn's reaction when she first described the idea for the story. Private Benjamin also stars Eileen Brennan and Armand Desante, and garnered Horn her second Academy Award nomination, this time for Best Actress. Horn's box office success continued with comedies like Seems Like Old Times written by Neil Simon, Protocol co-written by Nancy Myers, and Wildcats. Horn also served as executive producer on the latter two, and dramas like Best Friends and Swing Shift. At the age of 39 Horn posed for the cover of Playboy January 1985 issue in which she was the subject of the Playboy interview. Her last film of the 1980s was opposite partner Kurt Russell for the third time in the comedy Overboard. 1990s In 1990, she starred in the action comedy Bird on a Wire a critically panned but commercially successful picture that paired Horn with Mel Gibson. Horn had mixed success in the early 1990s with the thriller Deceived the Drama Chris Grass. An opposite Bruce Willis and Meryl Streep in Death Becomes Her. Earlier that year, she starred in How Sitter a Screwball Comedy with Steve Martin, which was a commercial and critical success. Horn was absent from the screen for four years while caring for her mother who died of cancer in 1994. Horn made her entry back into film as producer of the satirical comedy Something to talk about starring Julia Roberts and Dennis Quaid, as well as making her directorial debut in the television film Hope starring Christine Latty and Jenna Malone. Horn returned to the screen again in 1996 as the aging alcoholic actress Elise Elliott in the financially and critically successful The First Wives Club, opposite Bette Midler and Diane Keaton, with whom she covered the Leslie Gore hit You Don't Own Me for the film's soundtrack. Horn also performed a cover version of the Beatles' song A Hard Day's Night on George Martin's 1998 album In My Life. She continued her tenure in the 1990s, with Woody Allen's musical Everyone Says I Love You and reuniting with Steve Martin for the comedy The Out of Town as a remake of the 1917 Neil Simon hit. The film was critically panned and was not successful at the box office. In 1997 Horn along with her co-stars from The First Wives Club Diane Keaton and Bette Midler, 
were recipients of the Women in Film Crystal Awards. In 1999, she was awarded Hasty Pudding Woman of the Year. 2000s In 2001, Horn was reunited with former co-stars Warren Beatty and Diane Keaton. For the comedy town, at an estimated $90 million, the film opened to little notice and grossed only $7 million in its North American theatrical in 2002. She starred in The Banger Sisters opposite Susan Sarandon and Jeffrey Rush, her last live-action film for 15 years. In 2005, Horn's autobiography A Lotus Grows in the Mud was published. 2010s In 2013, Horn guest starred along with Gordon Ramsay in an episode of Phineas and Ferb, in which she provided the voice of neighbor Peggy McGee. In 2017, Horn returned to the big screen, for the first time since 2002 co-starring with Amy Schumer in the comedy Snatched playing mother and daughter. Personal life Horn has studied meditation. In a 2012 interview she stated, I don't think of myself as a Buddhist. I was born Jewish and I consider that my religion. She also stated it's not the idea of a particular religion that's important. It's the development of a spiritual life. Horn is a supporter of the LGBT community. Speaking on nations such as Nigeria and others which have criminalized gay people. She denounced these laws stating this is man's inhumanity to man of the first order relationships and family. Horn's first husband was dancer Gus Triconus who appeared as a shark in West Side Story. His sister Gina played Graziela Riff's girlfriend. Horn and Triconus married on May 16, 1969, in Honolulu, Hawaii and separated on April 9, 1973. Horn then dated stuntman Ted Grossman and Swedish actor Bruno Wintzel but did not file for divorce from Triconis until New Year's Eve 1975 after becoming engaged to musician Bill Hudson of the Hudson Brothers, whom she met the previous summer on a first-class flight from New York to L.A. Horn was granted a divorce in June 1976 and married Hudson on July 3, 1976 in Tacoma Park, Maryland. They had two children actor Oliver and actress Kate. Hudson filed for divorce on August 15, 1980. Horn's divorce from Hudson was finalized in March 1982. Horn has been in a relationship with actor Kurt Russell since early 1983. The couple first met while filming the one and only genuine original family band but became involved after meeting in 1983 on the set of Swing Shift. They have a son, Wyatt. They also own a home in Palm Desert, California. Horn is also the de facto stepmother of Kurt Russell's son, Boston. The Horn Foundation In 2003, Horn founded the Horn Foundation, a non-profit organization which provides youth education programs intended to improve academic performance through life-enhancing strategies for well-being. The Horn Foundation has supported research studies conducted by external researchers to evaluate the effectiveness of its educational program for children called MindUp. Brought to you by Wikivd.com Would you like to know more?